not really uh, doing too much poison damage there, but you can see so as just that sustained damage that's constantly there, you have right. to get out of it. You think, okay, per tick, it's not actually that high of an amount of damage, but the fact is, it is a tick spell, so the entire time you're taking damage and it soon mounts up uh, quickly as we see space here pushing that bottom lane out once again will net himself to safety puts a pilt over pick up his uh, first big item well long pen is getting he's getting in that uh, flow where he's just gonna start killing the entire minion wave running past it yeah not really too afraid of uh so as just yet because he doesn't have any items like you're saying he's sitting on a lot of gold with those five points for us are gonna try to do a little bit of chip but since just has so much regen on top of that callus on top of his ultimate as you see right there he's just just sticking to him as much as possible and just he dropped him about half health from that just from the poison the fling alone now we see long panda just gonna go straight in there gonna get another fling down onto soas and it's a lot it's of damage lane, coming out yeah ultimate comes down here but the cyanide is coming around but insect is already there who's gonna get the better of this one zyra ultimate gonna knock all three of them up zyra has to back away but they've taken out cyanide can they lock another kill down and rated pretty damn tanky which will just about keep him alive from that one but they need to be real careful here because diana is coming around this backside xpk working his way through the enemy jungle he's going to be spotted here by the wards as insect went in for enraged is he going to go down one more auto attack brilliant play from oh, reckless expected. and now diana comes around he's going to go in on towards space the plant not going to be enough to force him away his harassment will get the first and the second kills coming in double kill again for xpk with Diana, and we talked about it the last time that he turned it around, Jason, but we saw it directly this time. I wanted to keep an eye on him specifically after what we saw in that last kill, and he went straight through the enemy jungle here, put this ward down by the blue buff, and came down from the backside, and the ward that was here was just too late to yeah, stop too late. And he actually killed Kha'Zix on the way down, too. He uh, will be walled them with that blue buff up. Oh, I did? I didn't even see yeah. that. <laughs> so they ended up getting four kills for zero, basically, there. They do pick up Dragon off of that as well, and a 5-0 Diana, Joe. I mean, we talk about t we talk about kill stack. We talk about pretty much every game, but it's Diana. It's amazing. You have it going for that chain vest right away. We did see a uh, long credit though. Was able to push Soaz out of lane. However, he did get that turret as you see, and that gives him a nice, a uh, nice healthy lead over them. We do see the hunting guys finished up for X Pekka now, and I mean Dottie's gonna have a really hard time against him picking up that uh, no match mantle, but it's really not gonna be enough. Oh, Zed, they're coming in for a gank on Cyanide. Yeah, they're going to try and take out Cyanide here. You can see the amount of damage as Ignite goes down as well. Cyanide not escaping this oh, one, but Diana, Diana comes in again. Insect is going to fall. Can he chase out onto Dade with this one? Doesn't look that way. As we are going to see another ping going down there. That was... Uh I don't even know where that was. I think that was just a little bit delayed, to be honest, in our sounds. But uh, there is another turret being taken down. What? The first of the game for CJ, obviously Fnatic did take that top turret down with Soaz earlier on and now XPK going to try and have this middle turret away with Enrated. Bottom lane is coming up from CJ Enters, but they need to be careful because XPK is just fed. He's got those Sorcerer's yeah. shoes in there. He's got that Haunting guy. He's going full penetration as you'd expect uh, from this Diana. And he is just looking unstoppable at this point. Yeah, the problem Joe. is that's one guy. Uh, <laughs> so if they can't lock him down, yeah, he's going to have a great time of it. Well, but if they Tazonias. do lock him down... If they do lock him down, kill him. I mean, that's where all the kills are stacked up at the moment. And I have a song actually stuck in my head right now because of this game, Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson, just because of how well he's doing on him. And you see, again, in the top lane, so has taken a lot of damage, even though, I mean... Even though he can heal, he's just not building tanky, so he's not really going to be surviving this damage. Sina going to be coming in, but it won't really work as he has that ghost up right now. Zed coming yeah. in the top lane as well, and they could actually turn this around. He has that red buff, so I was going to be backing out, and Sina could be the victim here of another gank. Oh, there's no ward in that brush. Oh, Zed, is he going to go for it? Looked like he was thinking yeah. about it, then decided against it, but Singe is going to be pushing this wave through, and Cyanide, he's a very small level 9 Cho'Gath, and we are going to see the fling coming down. Here comes Zed. This is not a good position for Cyanide to be in. Singed has everything running his Diana, to say the least. What's going to go down here? Well, they need to take advantage of that. I mean, it has that Haunting guys, has those six kills. They want to, you know, use Diana as much as possible, have him roam around, maybe get a turret here in that mid lane, just allowing him to roam. Um, even Dragon, which, uh, you know, will be up in a couple of minutes, but it's pretty much just all focused around Xpeke right now. If they can use him to their advantage, they should be able to win these fights, should be able to win the game. I mean, he can jump right on top of space and probably kill him in his burst combo before he can even react, even with that heal up. But that's pretty much what they should be going for. CG Antis needs to just drag it out a little bit. They do have four kills on Zed, so he needs to get, you know, some really uh, necessary items to counter this. 
And still, I mean, we still has picked up that Spirit Fist just to help out that Sinjin's damage. Do have a gank in the bot lane. Oh. And can they kill him? He is running the wrong way. That's a perfect Leona ultimate. This said he's not escaping from this one. Reckless gets the kill. The rest of CJ enters trying to uh, come back for this one. Daddy did actually just jump away completely, but it might not be enough because Peke is onto him. He's got double buff as well. He shouldn't be too worried about space in this situation, in my opinion. But space has done enough to stop Fnatic chasing him down. Dragon is up in two minutes from now. So. Nothing to uh, really play for on that front, but they're coming in through the jungle again. Dylight didn't get away, the knockup will land, and that's another kill. And Rated picking it up this time. And that is 10 to 9. Fnatic taking the kill lead here. And what a fantastic bit of play it was as well. Yeah, great job. And so is in the top lane, trying to get this turret down. He's been pushing it the entire time that Long Panda actually uh, teleported down that bottom. We should be able to escape here. Does have the ultimate, pops it right there. Oop. And should be able to juke and survive this. So great job by Fnatic, picking up those kills, picking up another turret. And we do see them pushing on this mid lane. We'll get that as well. So, I mean, the gold lead that was ever so minimal at the time now has uh, lengthened to, you know, 5,000 gold. Oh, yeah. 6,000 gold. Mathematics. <laughs> Not strong with those. But, I mean, it was in a matter of two minutes that they were able to take this much of a gold lead. Yeah. And, you know, it seems like these pauses. <laughs> They're not bad for Fnatic. They were 4-1 behind when we had the first one. They come right back into it. Second one comes down. They're now ahead. 4-1 in turrets. A good 6,000 gold. Don't stand still like that. Don't <laughs> <you> scare <laughs> me when you do stuff like that. So to check that everyone else is moving around. Uh, but you must be on so 2,600 yeah. gold now. That's Zonia's coming up okay. shortly. Yeah, he's going to go straight home and uh, finish off that one. As we see here, Soaz, 124 to 128. Picked up that Spirit Visage in with his Brutalizer, and there is the Zonia's Hourglass finished for Diana, who has a huge CS lead, has a huge kill lead. And to be honest, his Kha'Zix just can't stand and fight. Yeah, it's true. I mean, he's behind so much. I mean, he's behind yeah. that huge CS lead, like you are just saying, and the kills. Um, the thing is, we mentioned earlier that if they can lock down Expect and kill him, with those six kills, zero deaths, that's a huge chunk of gold going over to the member that actually kills him. And that could be something that gets, gets him back in the game. Uh, you know, Zed currently with those four kills, most on his team. Not really the ideal person you want to be on, though. If he farms like he did against CLG with, I think he approached 400 CS at that point, um, he, sh he could be able to do a lot of damage. Oh, He's, wow. Insane. You cannot fight. <laughs> no. You cannot fight Rengar there. He is uh, pretty strong with that Brutalizer on as well. I mean, it's a lot of damage coming out, and I think Insect just about realizing that one uh, <laughs> after everything that went down. And it's Reckless just farming this bottom lane out with his ultimate, and they are going to be looking to take down the first inner turret of this game. Sorry, second inner turret. I forgot that the one in the top lane had already been picked off by Soaz, so he's done a massive job for Fnatic in this top lane. Yeah, he's not really got in there with the kills, but He's ahead in CS and he's pushed those oh, two Cyanide. turrets down while Long uh, Panda was in there. Yeah, Cyanide getting caught out here by Zed. The knockup will actually catch two of them. I wonder if that's going to be enough to bring the rest of the team around. There's a Zyra knockup as well. Fight kicking off on two fronts here. Azek Peke oh, is going to oh. dive in, gets Insect. Daddy not going to escape brilliantly under Ultimate. The crowd control far too strong. You're not escaping this one. Henry <laughs> picking up another kill. He got used to it last game. He's like, these are yeah. my kills. Aren't I supposed to be picking them all up? I'm pretty sure I am. There's the Caitlyn ultimate onto Soaz. Didn't really do that much, but Long Panda trying to get in here. On towards XPK. As XPK oh, dives in, space. on towards space. Who's going to pop the summon to heal? Oh, and he gets shut down. The Ignite may just finish him off. No, one more tick needed. And Fnatic are going to stay ahead. 12 to 10, but Caitlyn just getting a nice 544 gold for that kill. That was actually pretty funny. Long Panda threw him into space. Almost got the kill. But wow, that CC we saw coming out of Fnatic, and that's exactly what I was talking about. They locked down Dade. That seemed like ages right there. They pretty much had him from full health uh, down to the kill, um, just based in CC. But we did see Dragon go over to Fnatic, and this gold lead's trying to get it out of hand. So as, I mean, they're, they're split pushing a little bit, as we saw him in the top lane the entire time there. It came down eventually. But they have, to, they have to be really careful. They can't afford to get caught off guard. Um, you know, typically when you see, well, off, of, or off the back of IPL5, that a Rengar will push top lane solo uh, by himself. And, uh, well, that's what solo means. Anyways, I'm going to push up. He's tanky. And, and he's not really tanky right now. He doesn't have the items. He has um, the phage in the works, has that brutalizer in the spirit vestige still. He's waiting in this bush, trying to go after Long Panda. But with that Rod of Ages, with that revolver, Long Panda probably not going to be too afraid here. Long <laughs> Panda's like, wow. He was waiting in the bush <laughs> that whole time. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a good amount of farm again for Soaz. He's actually sat on 1,300 gold, so plenty to be spending in there. 
when he goes finally back. And he's just going to continue to push and push and push. There's the uh, ball of strike going down to slow singed. And he builds oh, up his no. five points, pops in the W, and he's just trying to hold out here for enough time that XPK can get in a position to stop this singe. But he's walked over a ward in the tri bush there, so they know that Diana was coming into this top lane. Cyanide, with the Oracle on, has managed to clear out a little bit of vision on this top side, and so has XPK. And Cyanide going to be pushing that wave straight through on towards the inhibitor turret. Problem is, though, Insect in the bottom lane right now. He can't afford to do this. They need his damage. They need how fed he is to defend this. And this could be the first inhibitor going over to Fnatic if he doesn't do something to get back, though. He's still trying to push. We see Rengar going in. Yeah, Rengar has decided to dive in there. Good Zyre ultimate. So has going very low. Will surely die here. Yes, he does. Underneath the turret, Kha'Zix has to jump away. Long Panda, you know, they've taken a lot of damage, but he's still very healthy just because how he's built. There is a block from Cyanide. They're going to be taking away this inhibitor turret. But look at Zed in that bottom lane. He is pushing, pushing, pushing the whole way through. Doesn't have minions. They will be coming back in. And now CJ Enter is going to try and force this issue back over. But Peke, you know, the burst that comes out of him, you can't ever underestimate that one. Long Panda now going to chase out in towards the jungle, see if he can end up finding anyone. N Rated is going to have to back away from that. Can't recall in that position. Cyanide He's is on top of ward. ward here as well. This could be very dangerous. Uh, knock up is dodged there. It's Peke running through the lane, trying to get in a position of safety by that turret, which he manages to do. Zed, in the meantime, did take out that inhibitor turret. So, you know, for Fnatic, was it really worth it, Jason? No, I mean, they got a little overconfident right there, extended past that turret. And a great job by Suja Entis there to actually just chase them down, prevent them from back. And I remember at the World Finals, the COG NA versus SK, and they did the exact same thing. And uh, they came out with that victory, but very well uh, played out of them. And Zed, I mean, I was surprised he didn't come back. Maybe might have picked up an ace, but still, getting that inhibitor open at that bottom side would be very helpful for them. If they do get that down, um, that's going to apply a lot of pressure for Fnatic to go for this Baron, or at least stop uh, CJ just for, or from getting it. We do have a lot of items completed, though. Zed went for Last Whisper as his next big item. That's going to help him quite a bit. Uh, we do see the Bone Tooth Necklace actually done for Soas, so we could eventually see um, that, that special interaction between him and Cassie is coming out. I would love to see it because it would be the first time for me. But still, he's going to need a lot of kills to get up there and a lot of assists on top of that. So, Fnatic here going to push this mid lane out. And rated already stopping the creep wave from coming too far out. And XPK just destroys it. Easy <laughs> stuff. They know that ward's there in that position, so uh, they know they will be spotted if they're in this top side of the jungle. The warding from TJ Enters is still very, very strong, but I'm not sure that they've really got enough here to hold on to these turrets, as we are going to see another inner turret going down. Bottom lane now is the only one with an inner turret standing, as Zed is going to be taking away that top turret. So, you now Zed done a really good job so far in this game of getting those turrets down for CJ. That's the thing, though. I mean... You just asked me if it was worth it for that trade at the top uh, top inhibitor turret for the bottom, but is it worth it for him to keep split, split pushing like this? I mean, they could potentially be winning these fights. We saw how low that Fnatic was, uh, was right there. I'm just not too sure. Well, in terms of worth it, the top outer turret is definitely not a fair <laughs> trade-off for, uh, for an inner middle turret, that's for sure. And maybe if they were there, they could have stopped that turret going down. But it's all ifs and buts at this point. Fnatic have that 6-4 turret lead. Oh, oh King's going to get caught out here. Oh, he just manages to flash away. So has not got a flash available. And Kinch may well just escape this one. So has decides, okay, I probably can't follow in that entire way. But in the meantime, XPK pushing out this middle lane. He can't afford to overextend either. But they've got good wards in there. Dade actually will jump in here on towards XPK. He could be in a little bit of trouble with Singe coming in. Caitlyn ultimate will go down as well. Zonyas comes in to stop that, destroying him. But it's only a matter of time. It's Long Panda to pick it up. But in the meantime, they've bought time here for Fnatic to start off the Baron. Here comes the teleport in though. Can they catch them from this one? Wow, he even managed to dodge the rupture as he teleported <laughs> in as well. That was impressive from Long Panda. And now CJ enters, going to force Fnatic completely away from that Baron. So again, we're tied up in kills, 12 to 12. The turrets and the gold still in favor of Fnatic, but for how long? Because this middle outer turret is the next victim. But with that knock up in there, ooh, they might die. They might just dive this one. They're going to fling Cyanide over. The root comes in. Kha'Zix going to dive down. The Zyra ultimate won't do too much. Well, they may get even more as the reset came in for Daddy. They've taken the turret out. Ezreal coming in from the side, N rated through the lane. 
And they've picked up that kill onto Cyanide, taken the turret as well without losing, uh, without losing a man. And CJ will be happy with that trade. Dragon is available for the taking as well, which they don't seem to be 100% aware of right now. <laughs> well, I mean, heck, they're, they're making mistakes. They're getting overconfident. That's the second time they were picked off one by one. And this is, this is the, the mistake that you will give CJ Entis to get back in the game. We do see Zed go for his own red buff here. We do see Reckless coming over the side, though. Can he actually catch him? He steals away the red buff, Joe. Wow, a nice steal there from Reckless. Oh, 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 what a juke from Insect. And an ultimate from Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant play from Reckless. I mean, that was fantastic from Insect, but... Well, it's only a matter of time until Ezreal catches up with you, to right. be honest. Meanwhile, in the middle, so I was getting a little bit too overconfident. Daddy gonna come in, cannon and rage and save him. No, he can't, Ooh. not quite. Blue two flashes though out of CJ Entis right there, thinking uh, maybe Ezreal's with them or something. We did see Space and uh, Daddy actually both blow it, so a little bit of a, a problem for them, but expect a He's getting overconfident. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, look at the burst. That's the difference there. As we see Zonya's gonna go down, and he actually dives into the middle of them. Can't quite finish off anyone. And it is Daddy who picks up that kill as well. So Fnatic getting a little bit caught out here and there. They're now behind two kills. If you're just joining us, this is the third and final game of our first semi-final for the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. The scoreline 1-1 in the best of three. So it's all down to how the team's perform in this one. And right now, it's really hard to call a winner. Yeah, it really is. And taking a look at items real quick, we do see last switch were done for Kazakhs. Top of that, we see a BF sword for Zed. Going to be building into that Bloodthirster. And there's a lot of armor pen on these two assassins. And I mean, that's yes. exactly what they're going for. We're seeing Singe going for his uh, his frozen heart to stop Ezra to stop uh, Soaz a little bit. Well, you saw, I mean, that wasn't even a contest. Diana versus Kazix before that last right. whisper. But the thing is, he keeps... That's, this, if, that's the second time he got picked off um, going by himself, you know, I mean, all on his own. And it's things like that will make them lose this game. We do see Dragon trying to be contested here, and see Gentis might be able to scare them off. Oh, and Rated might get caught out here. We are going to see the flip coming back onto him. Ezra Lulti will force Kazakh to back away. Kakinch is going to go down as well. Knockup comes down onto Singe. The entire team is there. Long Panda, is he going to be able to escape? No, he's not. Leona gets another wow. kill. Insect is going to die as well. He's right in the middle of them. Double kill coming out for Zed, though, before he finally goes down. And they finished off Rengar. XPK trying to get into the fight, but he's just a little bit too slow, and that will be a three for three exchange. Such a close fight, even with how yeah. far Fnatic was ahead, and still is. I mean, that 5,000 goalie, still quite a bit. Reckless got really focused there. We saw Zed wasn't really in position to get in there, came in eventually, took out uh, and raided, but not before he did a chunk of damage to him and CCing him to no end. I, expect, I mean, with that death at the bottom lane, that fight would be completely different if he didn't die there and was with his team. And we'll be going for some blue up here. We see Oracle picked up on Zyra and Bloodthirster finished off for Zed. And, oh, Leona picking up an Oracle himself. Yep, and again, N-rated. Three kills, four deaths, five assists. Picking them up there in the middle, and that's giving him a randwins. Like, <laughs> in that last game, we saw him with Blitzcrank, got that Frozen Heart in there, finished. This time, got that Randwins Omen in there, which uh, certainly will be helping against the like of Kazix and Zed. Well, and Caitlyn, obviously. Um, so, we'll see how that affects it. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually had that for, I think, 10 yeah, minutes I almost. Yeah, I think he has. I, I saw the animation before I even realized it was in his inventory. So he's had that for quite a while. But yeah, still, really these fights are so hard to call. Yeah, we still have yet to see a full-on 5v5 here. We do see Dragon Star for CJ Entis. Fnatic, or Fnatic, though, not going to let this go without a contest. Uh, Sinai trying to steal it away. Doesn't, in fact, get it, though. CJ Entis going for the... Oh, I thought they were going to engage there. And instead, they back off. Oh. <laughs> okay, missing the bullet there. Hits Reckless in the face, but with the Vamps, actually doesn't have Vamps Center, but with the 6% life, so it should be fine to get it back. And Fnatic on the push here, they still have that um, inhibitor open on the top lane. We haven't seen any play on it for either team. They are charging down this middle lane. Oh, we're going to see this fight kicking off here. You can see that CJ is trying to poke them down from the side, but they know they have to be on their base. And that Next, uh, that next inhibitor turret is going to go down. Long Panda looking for a grab onto someone as he gets silenced. Will finally get one in here on towards Soaz, but what can he do? The fight is going on on about five different fronts here. Space is going to be going low, but it's only Enrated that's in there. Cyanide backing away. There's the ultimate coming across for Reckless, but we see Kazix picking up a kill from it as well. Meantime, Zed here is being chased down by both Soaz and Cyanide. There is a rupture landing. The silence comes down. The nom and the finish from Soaz. So as, and that will be a two for one in favor of Fnatic. Plus, they may not be done yet. XPK is still up there. 
And in the end, can't really chase for much more. But they took down this uh, inhibitor turret in the process, which means two open inhibitors for the taking. Yeah, that still was a very close one for two trade for Fnatic. They had a uh, reckless very low at their size at the end, as you saw. They had two open inhibitors. Do you think we're going to see... Uh, well, do we need to see Fnatic push right now? I mean, well, it's... The fights are still so even. They haven't really still had yet a good 5 out of 5 team fight in the last... Uh, little bout there, we saw Xpeke really didn't do any damage. He was like stuck by Zyra with those grasping roots. Yeah, he needs to be more involved in it, that's for sure. I mean, almost working up now towards that Rabadon's death cap as we see Cyanide with the Oracle. And that just shows you, uh, you know, he's not had the best look with uh, kills here. I mean, look how small he is. Yeah, I was just going to mention that. But CS though, it's a huge lead for Reckless right now. He has 100 CS advantage over space. And even uh, Soaz right now has a little bit of advantage. Just an all fronts, Fnatic out farming uh, CJ enters here. As we do see Sonic finally getting a little bit bigger off of that minion. <laughs> just a little bit. Does have that Frozen Heart done. And two Randuins currently for Fnatic. So they have a lot of slow, a lot of protection for uh, Reckless for him to carry this game. Not to mention Diana with the Death Cap done, with that Chain Vest on top. Going to be going in potentially for that GA. Well, they know that Sage is in his top lane, but he does have Teleport available. And Fnatic looking like they're going to try and take down this inhibitor. See Insect there actually picking up the elixirs as well. So oh, send self in behind him. Not going to uh, be chickening out of any fights on this one as they manage to force them back. Singe is right in the middle of them, but look at the ultimates coming down. Singe will die before the rest of the team gets in there. There's three men knocked up by Zyra. Dade going to come in. Soas going low, but the damage onto Dade is very strong as well. There is the Caitlyn ultimate coming out. He almost kills XPK, and he's now in trouble as well as they dive in on top of him. Enraged is going down here as well. Double kill, and Reckless manages to jump. Soas still in there. Double kill for Soas. Can he finish off? Flashes away. Away. Reckless from this bottom side has managed to get himself out of it. And that will be a three for three. And again, everyone's so low. Yeah, Fnatic almost completely lost the fight. We do see both their surf uh, finish for Kazakhs. But that fight, I mean, they're just so crazy. Like you were saying in the uh, fight before, they're just fighting on all fronts. You can't even control or keep all the action in your screen because everyone is breaking up in these small little groups. Reckless trying to just kite as much as possible and have his protection. And then Soaz, he's just diving into the backside, trying to go for space every time. And Insec and uh, Dade, I mean, we saw the resets happening. He kept jumping on them as much as possible. It's just such a crazy fight, and I'm glad I'm not a play by play caster, Joe. <laughs> I feel, I'm sorry. Thanks, bro. Yeah, you're welcome. 21 to 22 in kills. That's how close this one is. Yeah, there is a 6,000 gold lead. It's 8 5 in turrets, 4 Fnatic. They've got two open inhibitors. But as we saw in that last fight, just because they're open doesn't mean that uh, CJ Antis is going to give them away for free. You can see a load of elixirs being picked up here. If we look down, uh, Kazix and Zed, pretty much the same build. And it's all lined up perfectly. And it's all lined up perfectly. <laughs> it's good times uh, for us with that one. Well, we do have a uh, Phage actually picked up for Ezreal. He's had that for a little bit. I think he's going to go into that Frozen Mount yet again, as he did in game number two. Possible. I mean, that big chunk of health that you get from that Giant's yeah. Belt in there is uh, certainly something that Reckless won't sniff at. Um, so we'll see if he ends up going that direction. I know everyone... Oh. <laughs> so has a stood on top of a ward. And they are going to get the root down onto him. Now Baron is being started and finished there. Nom down by Cho'Gath. Nicely done. And Soaz really holding them back from that one. Now they're going to dive in. Reckless ultimate comes across. Soaz going low. Zyralti is going to get a good knock-up. Insect coming around the back. He's going to pay for it surely with his life. Yes, he will die. And Rated will fall as well. And that will be a 3 for 1 in favor of CJ enters against a barren up fanatic and it doesn't look like that is finished just yet not going to get in for uh, any more than just that bit of damage though and again yes barren taken but it's now only left with uh, xpk and with cyanide after those three men went down and these kills are still really really close yeah, and for everyone wondering at home, we do have Soaz. He's currently sitting on five stacks of that Bone Tube necklace because I know everyone is waiting for him to finally hit that 16 stack essentially and get that interaction. But yeah, I mean, we still have Baron on XPK. It's still Diana. I mean, he still has that Death Cap, still has a Zonia. Speaking of Diana, yep. in trouble here. Going to get flung over the back by Singe, but is she going to be able to turn it around and kill anyone? See space going so low there. He's going to get away from her before he can kill her after the Zonias. Well, they do finish her off, and we've seen so many times in this game, 
from both sides, people being caught out yeah. all over the place. That was the third time for Expect right there. And look at the death timer, 50 seconds. I mean, yeah. You can't really afford to lose, you can't really afford to die at this point in the game, but you can't also afford to lose this Baron. Son of the, uh, the last day member, a uh, Fnatic with it. And it's just, I, I really wish I could hear the teams right now, because I was curious what or why he keeps splitting off like that. He was trying to steal with, uh, steal with the blue there, but Dragon is back up. CJ is going to be going for it. And at this point, I mean, 36 minutes in, Dragon really isn't going to give you too much. Most item builds are being finished off. We even have Zyra going for a Haunting Guys instead of a Zonia. Still has those Sword Boots and the 3 GP10. And she's actually going to be very scary for the other team. Not despite the ultimate, but the damage she can actually put out. Zed, in the meantime, has pushed this top lane out once again. Insect. Obviously, early on, did take this entire bottom lane out right up towards that inhibitor. He took the outer turret as well, I think, and uh, has done a little bit of damage to this inner turret in the top lane as well. But still, this game hanging on a knife edge. And the longer we go, the longer these spawn times are getting. As you said, Diana's spawn time last time she died was 50 seconds. So it's really a case of if you lose a fight right now, and you know, if, number one, if you get ace, it's probably over. But if you do end up losing your fight, you have to pray that you don't lose too many men and you're able to hold on. Yeah, very true. And not to mention, if you are going to lose, maybe in the other enemy team's base just to prevent them from, you know, coming in. Yeah. That would be very useful. We do have the Trinity Force actually picked up for Soaz now. So, I mean, just across the board, all items almost done. There's just so much damage. It just comes down to synergy. comes down to how well these teams know each other personally and uh, against the other, uh, other team to capitalize on any mistakes here. And Joe, I mean, who's the who's the key player right now for Fnatic? I mean, we do have Reckles very strong, or sorry, Reckles very strong, but so is Xpeka, and so is Soaz, who's just been diving in the back uh, the back line. Yeah, I don't think you can really say one key player. Maybe I mean they've got to work in unison here, and the same on the other side for CJ enters. If one gets caught out, if one ulti is missed here and there, then it can really throw it off at this stage of the game. Looks like uh, Reckless is going to be going up towards that frozen mallet again. Got the uh, giant's belt. Already done in there. Singe at the bot lane trying to push up. Does have teleport. So has ulting in. Here we go then. So as wow. is going to dive in there. Insect taken down to half HP. Oh, flashes away there. The Zenith Blade would have hit him if he didn't flash out. But it looks like this is going to be the first inhibitor taken down for Fnatic. The top one obviously is open as well. And they can take that one. If they, uh, well, if they dare, I suppose is the right way to say it here. As we do see Shirelia's being popped. An ultimate out of Caitlyn blocked by Enrater, but it does a big amount of damage still. And now the teleport's coming down for Singe. Where is he going to go to? Where is Singe getting into this one? We are going to see the fight turn around. Ultimate coming down from uh, Ezreal. And that will get him a kill on towards Zed. Space going quite low. And they are going to dive straight in on towards Xpeka here. He will pop his Zonyas. And they are going to take him down. But Space pays the price. Here comes the Zenith plate from Enrater. They're going to get the knock up onto the last man here. It's all on uh, on. Panda now, can he finish off? Can he stay alive long enough for this one? He's trying to get out of there. We do see him go down eventually. That will be the ace. And look at those spawn timers. There's no way that Fnatic shouldn't be finished this one off right now. So as he's tanky enough to be, oh, or is he tanky enough to be doing these turrets? Yeah, they're the super minions. Like they the are going to go for it. Yeah, they have to wait for these minions, but that will be then 20 seconds until Zed comes up. They do have Ezreal there, and they do have Rengar between them. They are going to absolutely hammer these Nexus turrets down. 15 seconds for Zed. He's not going to come back up in time. Nexus is going to go down, and Fnatic going to win this best of three, two to one, and move through into the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters Cologne. And there is not a smile there. You know why, Jason? <laughs> because they are so relieved. Yeah, I have to agree there, as you do see. There's the smiles, yeah, finally. Finally. <laughs> finally get one in there. Oh, that's it too. Um, yeah, they have to be so happy after that. I mean, losing that first game is so devastating mentally. But coming back two in a row, Reckless doing a good job. 7 3 10. Not to mention XPK. He, he pretty much, if he didn't get all those kills he got early on, the game would have completely over because he just changed the pace of the game for yeah. them and kept them alive. But still, I mean, Zed, 11 and 10. Not, I mean, ignore the kill or the deaths, but still, second time Zed.